morning everyone happy Sunday welcome to Sherry sip and think chat today's title is treat yourself kindly so I decided to dress myself up and I've got my classic sip and think with yellow trim why because I love the Sun vitamin D is good for you I want to pretend like I'm in the Amazon I got a new bathing suit and yeah it's a little it's a little small in the chest area but that's okay I'm still rocking it and I'm walking around the deck and around the house and I'm like ah, I'll go on the boat I'll go on the beach you know I really don't care because I need to embrace my inner beauty you know in some cultures you can walk around topless and we used to have Moonstone Beach where we live and people could walk around naked right I mean, this is just a shell. This is a shell that protects that inner beauty, you know? So, today's topic again is treat yourself kindly. And I started really thinking about it and I was like, well, we're only as strong as our weakest length, right? Did I say that wrong? Link? Anyways, um, I have been noticing on the internet and out there in the world that we're trying to embrace ourselves more, meaning that you only live once. And if you want to rock that shit, rock it. Who cares what anybody thinks? If you feel comfortable wearing it, then wear it. Enjoy yourself. And if you enjoy yourself wearing it, right, wearing all your frosting on your outer shell, then rock it. Rock it. It's not about making everyone else feel good and have you feel miserable. No. It's about you feeling good and helping others feel good. And when you feel good about yourself, it's going to radiate to others. You're going to see that glow. I hope you don't mind that this is above the, the ankles, but I got that message, but anyways. Alright, so I got my dream pops out. Let's see what it says. Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you'll be able to see farther. J.P. Morgan. No limit. You're limitless. Be limitless. Be limitless. So I have here... Accept my weirdness. To you, this may look weird. To everyone else around me, this might look weird. To me, I love it. I freaking love it. I love my weirdness. What'd they say? Go as far as I can see, and when I get there, I'll be able to see farther. Like my new glasses? Appreciate myself. Well, if my weakest link, why do I keep saying link? If my weakest link is my confidence of myself, then how do I build that up? I can't forget that I have weaknesses, right? I need to build off of those weaknesses. So if I don't like my body, then I need to do something about it. But I need to love myself first. So which actually brings me to my turn weaknesses into your strengths. Your weaknesses are gold. They really are. They really, really are. 
Yes, you can build off of your strengths, but again, you're only going to go so far. But if you want to go further or see further, look at those weaknesses and build upon those weaknesses. Because right now your strengths may be here and your weaknesses may be here. And you want to keep going further with your strengths. But your weaknesses and your strengths are actually connected. So in order to get them balanced, you have to analyze where am I lacking and why am I not moving farther even though I can see farther. You know, it's all inner beauty. If you can really f believe in yourself, you can go so far because others will look at that confidence. And you know what? The other thing that I was realizing is that if I died tomorrow, which I don't want to really say that, but if I did, I want to be remembered as someone who cared about others, showed others the way, was a role model. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, like, I've had some bad times, but in order to get out of those bad times, I've I had to really struggle. But once I've made it out of those bad times and out of those struggles, it doesn't mean the struggles end. They just continue, right? Because you're on a journey. However, there's others that you might be a role model for that are like, how did you do it? I wish I had your confidence. And so you kind of get in this situation of, well, I'm trying to still continue to build myself up and I'm trying to stay confident in myself because I'm aging and I'm getting old and I can already see like my future, my body's gonna continue to sag, I'm gonna get wrinkles. Like I want to stay youthful, right? But you also try to give advice to those who are in the spot that you once were in, right? I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's kind of like a balance beam, like going back and forth. And it's like an ever changing battle, an ever changing battle. One day I'm happy, one day I'm sad, one day I'm mad, one day I'm just like miserable, like, you know. Gotta take it one day at a time. But treat yourself more kindly. You deserve it. You deserve it. This is your life. Accept your weirdness. You never know who else will appreciate and like your weirdness. Appreciate yourself. Because without you, where would we be? Seriously. You make a difference. You really do. And I know it's hard sometimes because there's people out there that are constantly putting you down or constantly saying this and saying that, but you really need to sit there and know that the, out of all of those people, there's going to be at least one, at least one person who reaches out to you and says, thank you, I needed that. You saved my life today. I appreciate you. And we're gonna try to turn our strengths into weakness. Uh, I mean, our weaknesses into strengths. It's okay to screw up every now and then too. You know, it just makes us human. Ah, oh God, I wanna go to the Amazon. I don't know, I keep talking about the Amazon. I don't know why. Maybe it's the jungle. Taking me to the jungle. Honestly, I don't even care that this bathing suit is too small. It's actually too small in the chest. Uh, so I can order another size up. But I figured, you know what? I'm rocking it. I feel happy. I feel confident. 
I really don't care. Honestly, I wish I could walk around naked right now. That's what I want to, that's what I want to do. Is I just want to walk around naked. I just want to be free walking around naked. I feel like the more you walk around naked, the more you embrace your your body, your outer shell. That's why I love that song. Shake what your mama gave ya. Shake what your mama gave ya. So we're doing some affirmations. the same it would be boring do you believe the human race is the only race that has feelings or do you believe that there are animals out there that have feelings just a question I mean we all have animalistic tendencies we're derived from animals aren't we but aren't animals and humans all made from water and minerals and the earth? I don't know. I'm just thinking here. Just thinking. But our shape and our size and our color, our pigmentation are all different. If you met an artist that paints a picture... Not every single picture they paint is going to be the exact same, right? It's going to be different for each one, even though they try to recreate the same picture. We have one that fell out. Looking for another one. Shake what your mama gave ya. Shake what your mama gave ya. patient here. I'm like trying to make it go so fast. But see, that's <laughs> I'm always impatient. Very impatient. Except when it's serious stuff, I can be very patient. Hmm, I've had that one before too. But Shake what your mama gave ya. So I'll be shaking on the dance floor, which is called my deck, in my new small band suit. Hopefully my phone won't get too hot. So we have, today we have friendliness topped with connection, topped with gratitude. All right, is this, is this a croc or an alligator? There is a difference, you know. All right, so friendliness. Whenever I smile, I make someone's day better. What a cool way to buy happiness for free. Today, I will remember what an awesome power I hold, and I'll take joy in improving lives simply by giving away grins like crazy. Note, in a pinch, money will also work. That's friendliness. In a, I was gonna say, in a pinch, it's a cinch. <laughs> Connection. Penguins. You know, when penguins meet their mate, they mate for life. But 
if you ever seen Happy Feet, they go to the beat of the music, right? I'm connected with the multitudes, and I can ex uh, and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather-related stuff. We talked about the sunshine. Isn't that cool? How both friendliness and connection are talking about smile, smiling, it's free, right? S smiling to someone, it's contagious, but it's free. And you never know when you smile at someone if that makes their day. So maybe someone out there needs somebody to smile at them. They're gonna get support from some stranger that they never even knew and that person's gonna smile at them or maybe that person's gonna also smile and hand them some money you know some friendliness have you ever seen trading places with Eddie Murphy and he gives the old guys the money at the end or wait I'm sorry the old guys from trading places was in coming to America because they lost all their money because of the trading places, right? And um, those are classic movies for me. I love Eddie Murphy movies, like totally an Eddie Murphy fan. And um, in coming to America too, he gives them the money. And they're like, Warner, we're back. So then, <laughs> Friendliness and connection is topped with gratitude. So today I am grateful for all the little things. Wouldn't you say a smile is a friendly gesture? And it's the little things? Even when the big things suck. You know, you're having an awful day. Some people don't want to see you smile, but if you're having an awful week or an awful day and someone is kind to you from their just from being themselves not looking for anything from you but to give you a good day you know even when the big things suck there are always plenty of little things I can be at least a little grateful for like hot showers I think today I might do a cold shower, but like hot showers, music, and the fact that humans invented an internet and I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to. Using fingers and thumbs that do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. Hmm. All right, I'll reread that because I was like analyzing it. So gratitude. Today I am grateful for all the little things. Even when the big things suck. There are always plenty of little things I can be at least a little grateful for. Like hot showers and music. And the fact that humans invented an internet and I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to. Using fingers and thumbs that do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. You know we have to... Appreciate ourselves, accept our weirdness, treat ourselves more kindly, turn our weaknesses into strengths, smile more, be friendly, connect with others. Gratitude. I don't know grateful that I'm able to connect with you like this. I may not be able to connect with you in person, but see, the internet was created. How else were my kids able to talk to their father when he was serving in Afghanistan? They saw their father Skype the internet. 
So the internet can be a strength and it can be a weakness. You gotta take that weakness and turn it into strengths. Even if that means using the internet and using your finger and using your thumb, using your smile, using your connection. Be grateful. You have a real good friend that you met through the internet Embrace it. And don't let anybody tell you different. That is Sherry's Sip and Think for today. Enjoy your day, everybody.